the bowl's in shot and my face isn't, but that's probably a good thing. That's just weird. Whoa. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nutty Foodie Fitness here. I'm gonna keep this intro super, super short. Just force you all to pretty much give the video a thumbs up because today, in fact, this week, I'm going to be trying out my subscribers and my Instagram followers oatmeal recipes for one whole week. Thank you so much to everyone that gave suggestions and your recipes. I'm not gonna lie, some of you bizarre choices but who am I to judge I'm going to be trying out your recipes rating your recipes I have set one rule for myself in this video and that is to not go with my standard peanut butter banana and salted caramel oat concoction the point of this video is to try as many different types of, vi of <laughs> videos oat combinations as possible and I really want to kind of stay away from doing anything that's similar to what I have in my oats normally so I'm gonna try my absolute best to <laughs> avoid any kind of nutty suggestions as much as that hurts my soul if you get to the end and you thought you know what I was actually pretty entertained by this then please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I'm trying to avoid the fact that I've got a lamp there and like the room's a mess. Let's get into day one of this challenge. Given I've already had oats this morning and I didn't record, <laughs> stupid, we're just gonna have oats again. And so there have been some requests for, wait for it, salted oats with grilled chicken on top. Yeah, don't judge me, it's weirdly good. No judgment zone, really weird. I've also had suggestions of oat Japanese curry with salted and spicy fried tofu. Cheese and bacon or biltong, egg white cooked inside the oats. Soup with chickpeas, carrots, sweet corn, cheese, broccoli, eggs, salted porridge, Cool it a bit, cover it with tzatziki, fresh chopped mint, chickpeas, paprika. Essentially, you guys are just topping salted oats with whatever the heck is in your fridge is what it sounds like. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. We're being both plant-based as well as eating meat. It's very contradictory, but anyway. Some tempeh here left over and I have some beef with peppers. Salted oats, which I've never, ever, ever tried before. Salt ready. That's just weird. I'm then gonna salt it. Salt it. I make salty ones with eggs, cheese, and corn. May sound weird. Yes, they all sound really weird. Exactly what I said. Just salted oats and then you're adding whatever. So I'm basically having the beef, the tempeh. I've got some sweet corn for those of you that add your corn to your oats. I've also got a kabage, red cabbage, and I have some green beans. So I will be back with a savory salted oat. Definitely not gonna work, bizarre, bizarre, bizarre creation. I think I said absurd and bizarre at the same time and it came out as bizarre. <laughs> Salt in the cabbage. I'm actually not that mad about this salt in oats situation. Just taste like salty oats. That shouldn't be salty and should actually be sweet, but. Friends, I present to you the weirdest looking bowl I have ever made of oats. Salted oats here, tempeh, 
balsamic glazed cabbage, green beans, sweet corn, barbecue and pepper, beef concoction and green beans. I don't really know what to think. These flakes just, just to cement the fact that these are savoury. <laughs> this looks like a Buddha bowl, but instead of rice, I've changed it for oats. It was mainly Veronica that spurred this creation, so shout out to Veronica for your salted oats topped with grilled chicken. <laughs> Absolute nutter. I'm gonna give it a taste test. Right, enough showing how aesthetic this bowl is. Salted oats, bit of sweet corn, bit of cabbage, pepper. All the components have good flavor, so let me try the oats on their own. It's kind of a little bit confusing, but I feel like now I've kind of got over the fact that they're salted and they're not sweet and everything else kind of really works um so yeah overall <laughs> what do i give this with everything considered we have texture aesthetics creativity it's getting a four and i think that's that's pushing it just because savory oats i don't think it's a thing i'm gonna enjoy this nonetheless but i think four is is a fair rating I honestly never saw this day coming where I'd be having a bowl of savoury oats with beef, tempeh, beans, cabbage, but here we are. You know what, I actually think I judged this too quickly. <laughs> I'm starting to really um, enjoy this. <laughs> nice bit of oats in there, grab a bit of cabbage. And I mean, this is only day one, so just, <laughs> just wait for the combos. My lips are on fire. Maybe it was the addition of those chilli flakes at the end, because I wanted to like jazz it up. I'm sticking with four out of ten. That's about it. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It is currently day two. So, today we have... <laughs> Whoa. We have... <clears throat> It's early, okay? It's early. And I'm just going to put it, point out that from here on out in this video, you're not going to see a very fresh Steph because I have oats the minute I wake up, okay? So, good morning. I have my oats here. Woo! I'm burning my hand. Piping hot. Oats at the ready. Oat milk. This is a bit of an awkward one. I want to shout out the person that told me matcha, white chocolate, and strawberries. I can't seem to find that screenshot. Thank you. I have... Matcha protein is signed, sealed, and not delivered. It's gonna be open. As you know, I tried this out when I tried new things for for seven days. Mm. Oh. You know them ones when the scoop is just not at the top? Ooh. Mix that all in. I've then got a box of strawberries. In case it's not matcha in enough, I have extra pure matcha. And Wait for the piece de resistance, which is the white chocolate, but it's not just any white chocolate. No, we have white chocolate with a smooth melting finish of matcha. So we've got two birds, one stone, two flavors, one ball. <laughs> I mean, all I can say at this point is if you do not know about these, you're definitely not watching my YouTube videos because I'm obsessed, so obsessed that I've got to the point where this box is bigger than mine. Oh, I've just seen peanut butter and jam. <laughs> We've got straws going on there, and as if by magic, it just kind of cut in half. Okay, it's time to go in for the taste test. That looks good. Can you see that melty action? That white chocolate melting into the oats. Look at that. It's just melting. Woo! We're gonna go in with a nice melty spoon. This looks so good. Oh. 
Oh my, wow, wow. This is such a combination, such a combination. Oh my. It just works so well. Like matcha and white chocolate works amazingly, hence the obsession with the lint chocolate. But matcha with strawberries, another level. Look at that, like I can't, I can't even, I can't even. I'm gonna rate this. I'm literally gonna go in and say, Oh my god, the white chocolate melt. I can't with the white chocolate melt. <laughs> I don't want to be too generous though, because we still have many recipes to, to try out. So I'm going to say... 7.8. 7.8 to the white chocolate strawberry matcha recipe. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. Wow, this is so good. I need to sit down and eat this, but it's just like too good. Whoever sent in this combo, make yourself known, okay? And thank you. Good morning. Every day I look worse. <laughs> anyway, so I'm actually going to make two bowls right now. One is for preparation for tomorrow. This is from Rahav underscore Nagi. Oats, cocoa powder and strawberries. Leave it in the freezer so what i'll do i'll leave it in the fridge and then tomorrow i'll put it in the freezer because it's you meant to put it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes so i'll put it in the freezer for tomorrow and that's what we'll have i have some strawberries cocoa powder so you mash it up how much cocoa powder though i don't really know this stuff is really bitter though and i like sweet <laughs> i'll do two i'm doing it in here by the way just because it's going in the freezer. Mmm, it smells so chocolatey. Nah, Steph, it's gonna smell like peanut butter. <laughs> Don't know what I was expecting. Mash up strawberries. I kind of feel bad for mashing up strawberries. These ones are nice. You know, like, if they were manky, then I wouldn't feel so bad, but anyway. Oh, okay, I expect you soon this one is manky. <laughs> Get out. I don't need no manky strawberry in my life. Oh, this one. Oh, this one definitely has a virus. How are you meant to... Obviously, I understand mashing up bananas, but strawberries, can they actually be mashed up? I'm not sure I have the patience for that, you know? I might just change this up and do strawberry pieces, like really small pieces. I'm just being impatient because I'm really hungry and I want to have my actual oats. Steph gets hangry. Oh, no! Uh -oh. It's okay. It's fine. It's all okay. Put this in the fridge. Tomorrow, we'll be tasting that. Okay, now for what I'm actually having today. I'm gonna make something in my new bowl today so I can be extra like Instagram oat queen. But we're gonna go fancy today. Over the stove, I can never really be bothered, but Books Tea Biscuits does hers over the stove. Oat milk. I also have chia seeds, got these yesterday. I have cinnamon. This is working out. They said honey. Don't don't come at me guys, but I don't really like honey, so I have an alternative. We have agave top with blueberries. So I have some blueberries in here. No, I don't. Strawberries and blackberries is what I'm gonna talk about. Currently a shortage of everything in shops, so we've never done oats over the stove. We are going up in the world, my friends. Got my chair at the ready. so insta right now strawberry cheer and well it's meant to be blueberry let's just pretend these are blueberries we're going in for a taste test a little bit more of this syrup just like so yum taste test time consistency is creamy the blackberries have just like melted inside as well oh my god it's so creamy I definitely think cooking oats on the stove is the way forward. I just don't have the patience. <laughs> Charles. I like it. 
but I don't love it. Like the texture's the texture's beautiful, but I feel like it's not sweet enough. Not as sweet as blueberry, so maybe that's my own fault. Maybe it's my own bed. Personally, I prefer oats like super sweet, so let me try again. I like it, but I just don't love it. It's good though. <laughs> Continues to eat. Don't love it though. Continues to eat. I reckon. So I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give it a five, just cause I need extra sweetness in my life. That's my verdict for today. I'm an idiot. I didn't use the cinnamon. And again. <laughs> See, that's so much sweeter now. I'm gonna just crank it slightly to six out of 10. All right, I'm going for real now, bye. personally think these are going to taste a little bit bitter hence why i brought a magic ingredient just in case i've got some toffee drops but i'm going to give this a go looking fresh to death i don't mind the texture but i have an issue with this not being sweet enough because I always knew the strawberries weren't gonna balance out the bitterness from the cocoa powder so I'm gonna add toffee drops just to make this a little bit sweeter but if I'm judging this based on the actual recipe I don't think I could give this more than a four it's just not moreish enough for me being not so sweet mm. you see toffee drops are the way forward it tastes instantly better Sorry for the weird angle. I'm just sitting on my bed, looking out the window. It looks like it's gonna be a nice day. <sighs> and yeah, I'm half asleep. It's strange having like super cold oats, but I'm not mad about it. I really quite like the chocolate and strawberry combo. So thanks a lot for this. I think tomorrow I'm either gonna make carrot cake oats or apple crumble oats. Today is, is it day five? Yes, yeah, she finally got some makeup on. Can I get a clap, guys? Can I get a clap? Then I'm gonna be making the apple pie oats, so I've had a lot of requests for these apple pie oats. Essentially, you need cinnamon, apple, granola. Couldn't get hold of any in the shop. There was no cereal. There was absolutely no cereal left on the shelves. My protein coming through once again. Times are getting hard. Oats, officially finished. Went to go and get some more. Searched high and low and I found one box. This was literally the last box. The sachet form. You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I'll just use, I guess, two of these sachets today. That's what we're doing today. Um, trusty girl. Let's get the show on the road. Some of you grate it and some of you cut it into little pieces. So I might just cut it into little pieces. That's how you eat an apple. So this is raspberry and blackcurrant granola. Whoa, I went in. Apple pie oats topped with granola. I mean, this looks cute. If you could smell what I could smell, damn, that smells so good. I'm very excited, I have very high hopes for this. Oh, this smells so nice. I really wanna like smother it in peanut butter, but I did say at the start of this video, <laughs> why did I say it? Is to not 
have peanut butter in my oats. I don't know why I said that. Why did I say that? Anyway, enough crying, Steph. This bowl looks amazing and it smells fabulous. I'm about to go in. Bit of apple, granola. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. Now I get it. I get the hype. I get the hype. I think this beats the matcha. That's getting a nine. Wow. Thank you so much for giving me this recipe. Insane. I'm definitely going to replicate this. Amazing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I've added in the oats and the milk, thinking to add in some hemp seeds because I always see the like vegan YouTubers <laughs> add these and never used these before, but they're super seeds, so help. It's starting to look better, the cinnamon there. Maybe not like that. Nutmeg. Also just remembered, a pinch of salt was meant to be added and the tiniest bit of turmeric. So far it's looking all right and it's smelling pretty good. vibes so here we have our carrot cake oats topped it with cinnamon and then an apple as well going in for a taste test guys I am so pleasantly surprised I thought this was gonna taste like courgette and carrot it tastes like carrot cake this is so good different but good. I'm still trying to work out what to rate it. <laughs> One second. A 7.2. And the courgette, I can't, I can't really taste it. So this is a success. Mm -hmm. By the way, just so that we have it on record, I've added another apple and heated this up because I actually don't want this to end. The more I eat, the more I, I like this this concoction. I feel this deserves more than a 7.2, so I'm going for an eight. Like it's actually genius. That's an eight out of 10. I look like such a state in this video. So today for the final oatmeal recipe of the week, somebody suggested to do my oats however I wanted and then to top it with cereal. I've personally never had oatmeal with Cheerios on top and so I thought today we would have banana, cinnamon, salted caramel oats topped with chocolate sprinkles. Apologies for the state of my appearance throughout this whole video, but you know, <laughs> times of quarantine. This is gonna be weird, I think. So we've got banana, Cheerios, cinnamon, salted caramel oats with chia seeds. Here we go. New invention, day seven of seven. Final taste test. I just want to say I have had the most fun filming this video. I definitely want to do a part two because there are so many recipes I have yet to try out. For instance, egg whites and oats, Greek yogurt in oats, different types of overnight oats. There's so many recipes and I really, baked oats, oat muffins. There's so many that I still want to try out. So let me know if you want a part two. In fact, if you want a part two, just comment straight down below right now what you do with your oats what is your recipe how do you do it and i will make a part two 
I was also thinking it could be fun to do like a whole series. I tried my subscribers XYZ recipes for a week. So what other series could it be? Different ways of making eggs? Different ways of doing toast? Or pancakes? Mug cakes. Let me know your thoughts. I should probably try this before the Cheerios go soft. <laughs> I need a bigger spoon, I feel. I know what you do with a tiny spoon. That way I can enjoy it more. We're in times of need, people. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna get your next oatmeal. <laughs> When I say that works. This is delicious. Well, because salted caramel kind of goes with like honey Cheerios, isn't it? Like, I could have been more adventurous and added. I've got like chocolate crave filled with matcha. That could come out in part two. Um, anyway, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast, carry on watching the news because there's a lot going on right now. Again, thank you so much to everyone that gave me your recipes. I loved filming this video. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. I know I say it every time, but honestly, it helps. It helps a lot. And right now, <laughs> I'm going to need that ad revenue. <laughs> and guys, please, please make sure you are staying safe. I know that at the moment we're going through hard times, things that we've never experienced before. Make sure you're staying safe, stay at home. I don't need to tell you to wash your hands, you know what to do. Anyway, I will catch you in another video very, very, very soon. I have five videos that I need to edit. Five! Stay safe and stay nasty, my friends. Woo! That's it. About this issue on London's transport. This is so nice. Do you mind if I put the kettle on? The kettle is boiling. I just realised that I forgot to rate this recipe. I'm going to score it 8.5. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, it looks like I've been punched in the face there. A bit, a bit. I haven't, guys. <laughs>